All right, guys, welcome back to the podcast. This is episode seven, and I have with me. I hear an echo. I'm Dylan. (laughs) I'm Brian. It's gone. Thank you, Dante. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so um, let's jump right in. We ask everybody to pick a movie for us to watch, and which board was the movie that we watched? And so uh, I've never seen it, and Dylan's never seen it. Nope. Um, so I thought it was good. I thought Tawny's hot or was hot, and you got to see her naked. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was a scary scene, too. <laughs> I was like, well, what do you do? And she just grabs that towel and punches her ass. I'm like, shit, that's what you do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was cool. I liked it. She has a dirty mouth. You did like yeah. it. Oh, See, yeah. I was wondering if either one yeah, of y'all I mean, were going to like it. I, I, about halfway through, I thought, I bet Dylan wants to die right now. Really? <laughs> That's what I was thinking, too. No, I'm, I'm glad you did. I got more into it the second half, though, honestly. Yeah. 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 Uh, it took a little bit to get into it. But also, like, I started the first half last night, and I had to go to sleep, and then I did the second half this morning. Because yesterday I had, like, just the craziest day making three giant molds. So I got home, and I was like, all right, got to watch Witchboard for tomorrow. <laughs> and then put it in, and I was like, yeah, I, I got to go to sleep. But uh, that being said, I liked it. Yeah, I thought it was cool. Um, my favorite character was the detective. I oh, like okay. the detective. I thought he was really cool. And it was funny because I just also watched Christine for the first time, which is, like, really random and weird to admit on a podcast but just I love Carpenter but it was just one of those movies that uh just flew under my radar for so long and so I finally got around to watching it and I didn't know Harry Dean Stanton was in it mm-hmm. and he was my favorite character in that movie and then he's very similar to the detective in Witchboard I thought so it was this weird like yeah you're right simu- similarity of these that. two movies that I watched over the weekend and they had these like witty silly but like just telling it like it is detectives they were like yep. very similar characters so I like that about it. Brian. <laughs> so this would be my fourth time watching it, which some of it still holds up. Some of it still doesn't. I still want to punch myself in the face whenever Zerabeth talks. <laughs> See, <laughs> yes, she's I'm, my oh. favorite. I know she's your favorite. I, she is I love so Zerabeth. annoying. <laughs> so annoying. Oh, that, that's the medium? The yeah. Medium. Oh, yeah. So I always annoying. love Zerabeth. Like, yeah. like you never want to. I mean, I guess horror movies, you do want to see people die. But whenever she dies, I'm just like, yes, finally. <laughs> it's a good death, though. It is a great death. Yeah, it's a good death. It's a good scene, the whole thing. Yeah, her, her it's funny it. you mentioned her, like, because, yeah, at first, she, like, just annoyed the crap out of me. And then, like, her annoyance, like, became charming. <laughs> like, I started, it's like, it's like, like, halfway through, I'm like, okay, now, like, I like how annoying she is. It was weird, like. Yeah. But. Um, but, Tom. Ton- somewhere else where I heard that acronym recently. It's probably Christy. <laughs> the TTFN? T-T-F-N? Yeah, I it? said it recently. You said it recently, and that's <laughs> yeah. why. Okay, yeah. cool. This is weird. I saw it, and I was like, I've never seen that anywhere, but like <laughs> someone just recently said that. I did. And, okay. yeah. yeah, I was. I think I mentioned to you all that when I was uh, younger, whenever I did notes in school, I always put TTFN on the notes <laughs> to all my friends. And then I noticed other girls would do it too, but they weren't getting it from Witchboard. I was getting it from Witchboard. You were Witchboard. trying to start it. <laughs> if Instagram was a thing at the time, then it would be yeah. a thing now. It would be so, a hashtag. I always loved that. That's so, yeah. I always put that in all my notes in junior high. <laughs> what? <laughs> from Witchboard. No, I'm serious. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say, though, is like other girls were doing it too, but they weren't doing it from Witchboard. They were just doing right. it because it was just a thing to do on your notes. No, for me, it was I was associating it with Witchboard. That's, <laughs> that's the type of girl I was. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I looked up um, the director, and he made Night of the Demons, too. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Witchboard, I think, is like a really good first feature. Like, that was his first full-length movie and I thought that that it was really good for a first feature and then his next one right after was Night of the Demons so I was mm-hmm. like oh and then I love Night of the Demons obviously and then he's made yeah. some other good ones too I was like he did Pinocchio's Revenge yeah which I love oh I did he oh okay that, that I didn't know and then he did Witch Trap which and I, it's oh, the I like same Witch Trap. font as Witchboard yeah so I, like, yeah. I was like are these connect like are these like, together I think they were supposed to be connected but then I saw there's Witchboard 2 that came out after mm-hmm. that yeah, so well I was like well he wrote Witchboard 2 and Witchboard 3 and then he did Witch Trap which I think was for Full Moon so I don't know if it was just Full Moon couldn't 
just trying like to get the in the license first. for yeah because i mean grant they they had issues getting the license for this because parker bars you know suck dicks for money so, <laughs> um so like i guess it was originally called ouija and parker bars Ouija, please. Or Ouija. Ouija. And I don't they, know if you saw which board four times or not. Yeah. Or Ouija. <laughs> well, it was the fact that they couldn't clear the rights for it in time or something. So they had to pay a fee after the movie was already made. For Witch Trap or for, for which board? board? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's I just thought that was weird because yeah, I was just looking up his IMDB and I was like I was like, What's Witch Trap? I thought that was a sequel, and then I saw Witchboard, and I'm like, well, what the heck is Witch Trap? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. it's the same font. It's, it's the exact yeah, same it W. Yeah, like, like it's the same color and everything. everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't, and now I want to see Witch Trap to see. It's good. Yeah, yeah. you like that? Mm-hmm. What about Witchboard 2? Witchboard 2 is okay. Um, it's not as entertaining as part one. Um, part three sucks. Oh, there is a three? Yes. Yeah, there is a three. Yeah. Yeah. You probably didn't direct it then. Mm-hmm. No, I think he just wrote three. and produced it. You gotta make that money. Yeah. <laughs> well, so for me, I've watched this movie one million times. <laughs> I grew up with it. Um, it was always on HBO a lot when I was a kid, and I always watched it. So I've watched it like thousands of times. Um, I love Witchboard. It's just a good '80s cheesy fun. It was movie. very '80s. Yeah, it's very '80s. It's cheesy. It's you know, I love it. <laughs> yeah. And of course, we all like Tony Katane. <laughs> Yeah, when I was watching it, I was like, like when it first started and they're at like the party scene and all that, it's like super 80s. I was like, oh, of course Christy loves this. Yeah, yeah I do. This is totally Christy's And then I always movie. wanted, a, you know, a Ouija board because of that. So, and I got one. And then I would take it to slumber parties. And I knew what I was going to do to everybody at the slumber parties before it happened. But we would, you know, get going. And I'd always make the plant check go across the room and freak out all my friends so that was me at the slumber parties and then i'm just <laughs> sitting there laughing at everybody and they're all like freaking out and screaming and, and you were never invited over again. right <laughs> so, christy's that example where they tell you hey don't mess with this stuff because stuff will happen and she's just and then like i always want to do levitation do and all that kind of stuff <laughs> at you know slumber parties everybody thought I was crazy stiff as a board light as but a feather then, you know, but then it got to be fun though and then people were like hey did you bring the Ouija board no <laughs> so yeah that was me it's funny that they made the character's name Linda and then they even say Linda Blair like in it too mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like I thought that was pretty funny because I did, when he says like the Linda Blair joke, I hadn't caught on that her name was Linda yet until like after that, and I was so I just thought that was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, fun movie. It was yeah. good. I mean, I didn't mind it at all. I thought yeah. it was. Oh, it was good. Um. So I guess we need to um, get something for next week set up. So. Um, We'll put some of that down in the comments. We'll give everybody some choices, I guess. Yeah. What should we do? We can think about it right now. <laughs> just dead <laughs> air. Just. Yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we should have thought. Yeah, we should have thought that through a little bit more. <laughs> but we can always put it in the comments and just give uh, three choices. Yeah. Or if you, well, we just uh, did '80s movies. We can do like three '90s movies or yeah. something. Oh, you know what? Maybe could be good because I saw one of the comments from the last one. Because on the last podcast we were talking about like remakes and why do you like remake good movies and stuff. And then someone commented with like a list of like four remakes of good movies that are good movies. I was like, yeah, that's a good point. Like, so that could be interesting. Like, we could do like Cronenberg's The Fly, mm-hmm. or we could do Carpenter's The Thing, or or the 80s blob the blob, blob. or something mm-hmm. you know like like those are like good 80s remakes yeah that like of good movies that actually are good movies too right. like i'm happy about all three that all three of those movies exist yeah so that could be a good idea yeah, that could be all good. right let's go with that those three yeah. those three all right what was it the fly the fly the fly the, the thing, thing. Okay. The, the, the. The, the, yeah. the. Yeah, yeah, cool 80s remakes. <laughs> yes, there you go. All right. So which one do you want us to watch? Uh, just let us know down in the comments. And then um, we'll watch that, which is going to be kind of 
tough for us. For us, because we're about to go on yeah. the road. Yeah, <laughs> so we're, we're, we're going to have the video cam you guys in. Yeah, yeah, we'll <laughs> FaceTime you. <laughs> FaceTime you in. Um, <laughs> we'll figure it out. But yeah, just, we'll uh, I'm going to watch the original for whichever. Uh, this, this is not required. This isn't required reading, but whatever one gets picked, I'm going to watch the original first and then the remake. There you go. I think y'all should do it, too. I think that'd be fun. Don't be scared. Yep. <laughs> no, I so good instead thing of I one own. movie, you have to find time to watch two movies. Right. Yeah. <laughs> good thing uh, I own. Well, I own all of them. Too. I yeah. own all of them. Yeah, so. we can get it done. I'm sure. We watched watched a bunch of movies. I own the remakes, but I don't own any of the originals. You don't own any of the originals? Oh, really? mm-hmm. Well, FaceTime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that reminds me. Someone owes me three bucks for renting Witchboard. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there was an option to watch it. I was like, why didn't you just ads? watch it on Tubi? You know, I don't watch <laughs> movies with ads. I tried because it was on Amazon Prime, and like there was like a Scream Factory um, presentation of it where you could watch it with ads. So I started it, and as soon as that first commercial showed up, I was like, nope, I'm not doing it. And I just <laughs> like like circled out, pay for it three dollars. Well, I guess I, c- I mean, I had the DVD. I could have let you have oh, that. I was just kidding. I don't <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I like the movie, so I don't mind. I, yeah, but um, it was funny. Yeah, it was. It was just like it took. I was like, I'll just watch it with commercials, you know. And that first commercial, <laughs> he couldn't like, get one no, one commercial. <laughs> it, it pulls you out so bad. It's like, and the way that they cut in those is so bad too. Like back in the day with the TV, and we go to commercial. They had special like TV edits, you know. Which again, that's lame too. Watching an edited <laughs> version of the movie, but it it, it would. It would show up at points that kind of made sense, whereas like with the streaming ads, it's just like it's like it just cuts to the commercial in the middle of a scene, and it seems like you're cutting to this scene, but it's like a State Farm commercial. Like, it's it's so disorienting. I cannot do it. That's I don't. I haven't downloaded Tubi or or Peacock or any of those channels, Vudu that do it because I just can't. You can't. I just, well, I'll, I'll, I'll pay Pe- four dollars to rent it I'll before I do Peacock, that. Peacock, they have the option to where. You could watch it without the for more money. I'll just rent it on Amazon at that point. That or I'd just give you my login for it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fine. <laughs> be I'm okay with that. There you go. I mean, how do you think I got our monster movies set up here? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna watch exclusive <laughs> monster movies throughout October. Yes. We've decided. Good. <laughs> I don't mind the commercials really. Do you? Um, I hate commercials, yeah. Well, but I mean But it whatever. gives you a chance to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Get nachos. There's a lot of stuff you can do. Chicken tenders. But I don't want to do them. those things. I want to watch the movie. <laughs> I like because that, that's one of the cool things about like going to a movie theater besides being at home. Like being at home, it's comfortable and yeah, you can pause it and you can rewind it. There's a lot of luxuries, but like that's one of the cool things about going to a theater is those luxuries get taken Take away, away and you have to sit and do nothing but watch the movie. Yeah. Like Grace Shull, no ma- I mean, I watch a movie every single night. So I can't expect her to like pay attention anymore. Like I've stopped trying, but she just she goes on her computer and she just does stuff on her computer all night during the movie. But she'll still follow it because like that's how she watches movies. I've just had to grow to just accept it because she'll know the characters' names and what's going on and everything. But like me, it's like if I'm watching a movie, like I'm not doing anything but watching the movie. It's the only thing that I am doing, you know. Yeah. So the commercials just immediately like. Yeah, Christy tells me stop. You gotta pay attention to this. Oh, watch this part. Watch stop. Yeah. Stop looking at that. Because you're always on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I sent I sent John a like a what a meme the other day of like uh it's one of those like heartburn commercials or whatever and it has like the like the infrared image of like the person and they're like cr- grasping their heart and the heart's all like bright red, you know? Yeah. And it just and it says like when your friend gets up to go to the bathroom during a movie and you pause it and they're like, oh, it's okay, you can let it play. <laughs> like, it's just like, oh, <laughs> we're watching this for you. Yeah. I've seen it already. Yeah. I'm <laughs> showing you this movie. Like, that's so yep. funny. That's about right. <laughs> oh, well, I like to get up and move around. <laughs> uh, but I do like going to the theaters now, though. I am spoiled on the renting the whole theater and mm. it's just us in there yeah yeah there's no idiots throwing stuff or talking or laughing or yeah. talking on their phone yeah so. or just some bright lights <laughs> right mm-hmm. yeah yeah so and it was pretty affordable at first but now it went up because yeah. theaters are back in yeah. so yeah. you're taking that screen away from them to show yeah. you know fast and furious on like a eighth screen that no one asked for yeah. right <laughs> 
<laughs> like, it, I, it was a cool thing that like happened that like came out of the pandemic was just the ability to, to, to yeah. just do that because it was like there was no way that they could show any movies unless you did that so they're trying right. to just put anyone in a screen so it was really Dude. cheap but yeah, it's a bummer that now it's expensive, it. but it's nice. It's like first Man. class. Yeah, yeah. never oh, go yes. back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. yeah I, I was so at, we're we're gonna d- definitely have to do Halloween Kills in our own own theater. I, yeah, I think it's available at home too. It's it? gonna yeah. be on Peacock. Yeah, Lame. same day. You know, what? we went over this. I said we just get an inflatable screen, we grill out here, and we just watch it privately. Do you have a, a portable grill? Yeah. Oh, all right, mine's too big to move. Nice. <laughs> we get one of those eggshell smokers. Yeah, <laughs> I'll bring, just make I'll some bring the beer. You buy the grill. Yeah, we get an inflatable <laughs> screen. We got a projector somewhere. Us having a steak, a, a way to cook steak here is dangerous. Though we would just be making steak yeah. all day. You go in a nightmare. Yeah, we we literally steak. will. Steak, yeah. <laughs> hey, if they get the get the restaurant next door and going. Uh, we could we'll sneak in there and steak. cook yeah. our own steak. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's sweet. There's just this, there's an area in the fridge that's just like really right. nice cuts of meat. It's like no, that's just for us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some nice giant tomahawk <laughs> steaks. Yes. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Wow. So um, okay, so we're leaving. Well, we're on the road right now. If you're watching this, so yes. we're, can we? I guess we can yeah. say what I'm. Um, I'm going to be filming this weekend um, the Valentine's Bluff Band film. So I have my scene this this weekend in Pennsylvania. So we'll be on the road yeah, to so Pennsylvania. Yeah, so we didn't want to fly because we were unsure at the time when we needed to buy the tickets of if, you know, what day it was going to be. And then yeah. we weren't sure on flights because they were canceling yeah. so many Everything. flights. Well, and luckily we didn't buy it because they changed – Christie's filming day um, yeah a couple of days so we would have been screwed on that um, yeah so we're driving so yeah so we're driving from Las Vegas to Pennsylvania it's 2,500 yeah. miles you have fun with that <laughs> <laughs> is it is it are you filming anywhere near Pittsburgh uh, Scranton Scranton oh, okay home so. of Dunder Mifflin. Yeah, Dunder Mifflin and the, the <laughs> Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins, actually. The, like, farm team for the Pittsburgh Penguins. But I was just wondering because, uh, I mean, Pittsburgh, just so much horror history there. It would be yeah. cool to film yeah. a movie in Pittsburgh. Yeah. That's that's over. We're going to yeah. be gone for a little while. Yeah. And we <laughs> have to go down to Alabama, check on some stuff, and then we're driving back across the country. Oops. And then, so when we get, like, we have to time this perfectly because days of the dead mm-hmm. is um eighth ninth and tenth yeah so um we gotta get back by thursday night <laughs> right so <laughs> before days of the dead dylan so. is uh building the booth while we're gone um and packing everything up so uh we just got the van back the back doors wouldn't open so uh yeah some kind of cable broke and uh so we got that fixed got it back over here now dylan's gonna build the booth and then hopefully we come back on wednesday okay. <laughs> hopefully yeah Pending wednesday weather. or thursday and then yeah. we're gonna load up a van and take it five blocks down the street yeah the the van doors breaking was actually scary because i mean at first we were like well we can just rent another van oh crap like cause we all the grid wall all the grid wall which is really <laughs> expensive and heavy and hard to find right now yeah. but like because we we built this thing for the van that's a structure to keep the grid wall like on the bottom so that we can put the like product and everything and, and everything we're taking on top so there's literally no way to get it's impossible out. to get to it with yep. a, i guess aside from like completely <coughs> unscrewing that thing and taking it off but that would have been insane like yeah, yeah i was like <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I was like, oh, man, we literally can't get to the grid wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we would have had to disassemble it and then take yeah. everything out the side. Which would have been really difficult to do, yeah. Yeah. too. Like, oh, with yeah. that amount of space and to get that big board out from that angle, yeah, like, yeah. disassembling it would have been really hard to Yeah. <laughs> almost impossible. So, yeah. yeah, that would have been awful. <laughs> but we're fixed, so uh, we should be in good shape. And then uh, we'll be there. Uh, they got some good guests coming. Um they and it's still at the Plaza Hotel. Yep, Plaza Hotel, downtown Los. Uh, 
Yeah, downtown Las Vegas. I almost said Los Angeles for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's I was say never been to Los Angeles. <laughs> why would I say that? <laughs> uh, so uh, some of the guests they have Bruce Campbell, Richard Dreyfus, Ted Ramey. I, I love Joe, but I don't know how to say his last name. Pan- Pantoliano. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. From the Goonies, Matrix, and of course, it was Ralphie and. Uh, Sopranos. Yeah. Tells from the crypt too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, who else do they have? Lou Gossett Jr. How cool was that? Yep. Yeah. Uh, of course, Kane Hodder will be there. I'm excited for Andrew Divoff. He played Wishmaster. Mm-hmm. I'm excited for him. Serena Vincent, Amy Steele, Amy Roger Steele Jackson, I'm about. Warrington Gillette. Stephen Jeffries, William Ragsdale, the Greasy Strangler. So, uh, Sky Elobar, is that how you say it? Michael, St. Michael's from the Greasy Strangler, Damien Leone, David Howard Thornton, and a bunch of other people. Mm-hmm. And Tony Todd. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tony Todd was announced literally that night after our signing. Yeah, he's not even on here. Yeah, they don't update their websites. Oh. <laughs> That's why I can't go by this with Richard Dreyfus because he's not there for me until I see him in the building. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't trust that he's going to be there at all. <laughs> he was. Where was? Where did we see him? That was in Chicago, wasn't it? Or uh, I can't even remember. Yeah, I can't remember. It was um, Chicago or Indianapolis. It was, yeah, it was one of those. It's too bad his figure won't be out in time. Right. The naked yeah. clothes figure looks really cool. Yeah, well, who knows when that? Yeah, yeah. We probably two won't years see from that now, twenty twenty three. Yeah, <laughs> better <Yeah>. not be. <laughs> but uh, there's some pops and stuff. I think. Do we have any pops left? Of mm. I can't mm, we got no I pops. Think, I think we're out, Joe. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he should be there, uh, and but he takes a long time with with yeah. each person. So, like, his Getting line will be quick. wrapped around the building. Mm-hmm. And then, if he gets to you, he gets to you. Well, it's a good thing I got my wife coming. Yeah. <laughs> she gets to go stand in holder. Line. Yeah. Like, go stand in line for me. <laughs> and then just text me when you get close. <laughs> I'll do the fun stuff at the end. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I'm already assuming that Bruce Campbell's going to have his own room. Oh, I'm I'm sure. He usually does. Yeah, which we'll have the rest of our ashy slashies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, last the, the last of the, the slashies, last. yeah. Yep. Until yep. we get more. Which no. No. They're not oh, they're, they're done, done? Yeah, I called NECA to see if we could get some more, and they said they were discontinuing it. Which oh. is ridiculous. Oh, which probably means they're losing the license. Well, they're, Or they're just not continuing yeah. it. They, they, they said that it doesn't sell well for them, but it sells really well crap. for us. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, who knows? That's always the excuse that they're always, oh, it didn't sell well. It's like, well, why are you sold out of it? Right. Like, Yeah. Like, yeah, that doesn't make any sense to me. It seems either. like it sold well enough. So, whatever. We, we'll buy every single one they have. We tried. Yeah, yeah we tried. <laughs> they're out. They're completely out. So, <laughs> they ran out of, uh, what, the possessed first, and, and then we just got the regular ones. No. No, uh, we, no, we, we, we sold out of the regular around. ones. Yeah. 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 So... And we then, have a few, regu- I mean, yeah, a few of the possessed, and we'll have them at days. Yeah. And then. That's it. That's wow. it. Yeah, they'll probably all sell out at days, honestly. I, I, uh, They're probably going to sell that Friday. Yeah. Guaranteed. They always, the Ashy Slashies always yeah. sell, <coughs> like, so fast. Mm-hmm. We can't bring enough of them. The booth was just Ashy Slashies. We would not have anything to take <laughs> home. Right. <Yeah. laughs> this is true. Yeah, and so if you come in on Friday and you see something you want, buy it right then because it won't be there mm-hmm. yeah it won't be there tomorrow mm-hmm. or and especially sunday it won't be there so uh, and they're saying that on the on the national news now that you know there's such a shortage and uh shipping delays that uh it's going to affect christmas so they're they're telling people you know if you go in a store and you see something right now don't wait for a sale or a coupon or any kind of stuff like that you better buy it right now or you just won't get it and there's not going to have anything mm-hmm. so uh, we'll see how that goes 
<laughs> Hopefully we can. I mean, we still got stuff coming in, but. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I know we've got some stuff coming um, from NECA um, and Mezco, but, um, you know, I don't know how long it, how long it'll last if, if it's like that. Right. So. And then, of course, you get the people that, you know, go around and buy everything up and then try to resell it. So, <laughs> you know, if you yeah. want something, you better get it before those guys get it and, and put it on eBay price. and triple the price. Mm -hmm. And yep. Yeah. So um, what else do we have going on? Giveaway. You want to do that now? Yes. All right. Let me pull up the... Do you have it? I do. I just don't know what the guy's real name is, but we can say his uh, username. Yeah. Um, so the winner of the Halloween Kills Rehauled Mask by Mr. Shelley, uh, Chaotic Guy Zero One on Instagram. You are the winner. Yay! <laughs> I didn't even know. I gotta look him up right now. Yeah. It's chaotic dot underscore dot, dot guy, guy zero one. one. You are the winner. Yeah. So yeah. Congratulations. We, uh, and there's the mask. Yeah. There's hey. the mask right there. Cool. There he is. Boop, boop. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. So that's the guy. I don't know. Uh, well, Dante has a graphic for it, so. Uh, He's I'm taken, sure. though. Yeah. So I don't have a chance. So. <laughs> follow yeah cool thank you uh -huh. everybody who yeah. uh, that was a big response to it so yeah thanks everyone for the kind words didn't have very many negative words to me anyways a lot of people being really nope. cool about it so um, a lot of people asking me to rehaul their masks to you so thank you everyone for the interest um, we'll probably have something soon about that yeah, yeah. I've just been sending uh, people your Instagram. Yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> yeah. Talk to you about it, and then um, I think we're gonna. Yeah, I guess we can just tell them. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll we'll put them out. Uh, yeah. We'll do. There was just so many people like messaging us about it, and it just became pretty complicated. So so far, he's been sending them to me, and I've been kind of messaging them. They can buy a you know, mask from nightmare toys and then send me extra money and all that um it's just getting a little complicated so i decided i'm gonna just take five home and paint five of them and then we'll have those on the website uh i don't know when though just when i get them done sometime in october though i just have to find time to get them done and i'm just really busy getting ready for days of the dead con yeah. like uh y'all will be on the road and i'll just be trying to find time to paint mm -hmm. like 30 masks in the next two weeks to get ready so I i'm not going to be doing any in the next like week or two but at some point, if I can get five of them done, they'll be on the website at some point in October. So All right. Make yeah, it easier. <laughs> Shelly Moth will not be at the, our Days of the Dead booth. Oh, he's, yeah, that's uh, true. He's cheating on us. That yeah. <laughs> with his own company, Monster Re Monster Res Resurrection. Resurrection. Yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah. Cool mask. I've seen, uh, I saw some posts this morning uh, of stuff y'all did. I guess yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yesterday. Cool looking mask. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Yeah, yesterday was a crazy day. I'm so sore <laughs> and exhausted. <laughs> like usually like if we're doing like a, a ultimate two piece mold, like a mold of the actual clay sculpture, like we'll only do one in a day. And it's still I mean it takes all day and it's exhausting. We're always sore. But we did three yesterday, which is just it's just crazy. But even with having those three done now, getting copies made of them and painted and ready and all that for days is going to be like near impossible but I think last well not last year but the last days of the dead um, we painted like 27 masks in three days and it was just like just insane so we're just going to be doing that again but then even more because we've obviously sculpted and molded more masks since then but we'll have like two different versions of every mask that we offer so it should be pretty fun that'd be cool yeah. Well, maybe they'll put uh, your booth next to our booth like they did last time. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. That'd be cool. I definitely, I want to be on the <laughs> um, the vendor side of things this time, though. Because we were next to y'all, but then we were on this side where all the autographs were. And 
and a lot of people, you know, go to conventions just to like meet that actor, a few actors that they like, and get yeah. the eight by ten signed, and that's what they're going to spend all their money on. And we have this tent built, so it was like we were only open to like these people that were mostly there to get signatures, and then the people like me who kind of walk around and buy stuff from the mm -hmm. artists and everything. Um, if you s looked over at us from there, it was just a black tent. You have no idea what's going right, on in there. Right. So I want this time to at least, if we were in the same place that we were next to but on the toys, other side, but exactly on the other side right. facing them, we would have sold a lot more stuff because people would just like walk in and like, oh, you have this and then buy it. We had to kind of go around and be like, hey, there's a booth over there. Right. You know? but, of course. Um, but yeah, I mean, the last time we still sold like 60 or 70 percent of the masks that we brought. Um, I just think we would have sold a lot more candles and like t-shirts and little stuff like that if because people you know went to the booth to see the masks and all that but um, that like random kind of impulse buyer we didn't really get <laughs> people were either there to see us or not you know yeah well and every show has been different for us because yeah. I mean we take stuff to to one city and like literally don't sell one of it and mm. then we take it to the next city and sell, sell all of it yeah, yeah. It's so yeah. or like with those uh the freddy gloves like oh, like yeah. the last three cons that we did we brought them and like no one even looked at them and then the last con we were at we didn't bring them and, and like three or four people them. asked like do you have those gloves and i was <laughs> like are you kidding happens like that all the time <laughs> <laughs> right the, the, we finally were like let's just not bring these because they never sell and then everyone right. wanted them yeah so you never know well, all right. We got anything else to go over? We got some new stuff in today. Got some new Funko Pops. La Llorona Pops with mm -hmm. Chase. Yes, with Chase. That's pretty cool. Um, mm -hmm. We had the three more of the Nightmare Before Christmas train Funko Pops come in. So mm -hmm. those will be up, I guess, technically now. Oh, um, yeah. They'll so put them in now. So, so yeah. yeah. So the next episode... Um, I'll get them set up and we could show them off. Mm -hmm. We got the artist series. Yeah, we also got the rest of the artist series for them as oh, well. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's about that it. That's about it, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, I guess we will uh, see you guys next week.